All right, so now I've got this list of companies. Uh, I've got information, I've enriched the companies to a point where I feel like I know who I want to reach out to and who I do not. The next thing that's popping into my mind is, okay, I want to get a contact information. And so naturally, you know, my next step might be to go to emails and click find work email. The issue is, and we'll see this really quickly, is we haven't actually identified prospects yet, right? We do have the company domain, but we haven't found people at the company yet. And so essentially what we've done is we've kind of skipped the step. And for this to run, we're gonna to have to find people. Not an issue. Uh, what we can do is first just enrich this with the find people LinkedIn integration. So if I search find people, see this here. This again, I'd say is one of those um, core integrations that I'd say most people really do use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this out. So let's say I'm just looking for one person. Uh, I've got the company domain here, which I'm gonna map. I've also got the company LinkedIn profile because I have enriched the companies on LinkedIn. So I'm gonna expand this and click on this URL right here. And then let's say in this case, I'm looking specifically for the founder, CEO, or co-founder. Um, I know you might be thinking, okay, let's say I'm looking for just a head of sales or a VP of sales, and there's gonna be multiple results for that. If that's the case for you, um, look in the advanced section of enrichment because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But again, in this case, I'm just going to be looking for this one person. And so it's going to be a little bit simpler. So I'm going to say, yes, I want them to currently be at the company. These additional filters do not matter to me, such as location, industry, skill. And I'm going to click save changes. And then I'm going to go ahead and run that for the first 10 rows. And you'll see what happens is for most of these companies, there's going to be a match. And I'm going to then be able to click view details. And that match is going to contain, there we go. I've got the LinkedIn profile, title, name, essentially all the information scraped from their profile. And now that gives me the information that I need to then find their work email. So again, if I then go to find work email, I can simply map the name from that integration. So I'm going to look for um, the find people integration in here, which is right here. I'm just going to go in, there's going to be nested results. So just keep clicking down until you see the result you need. And in the full name, I've got that right here. I'm going to click map. And then for the company domain, I've already got that. So I'm going to click map, save changes. And again, run it for the first 10 rows. And so you'll see what happens is now I've gone from essentially just a domain to fully enriched information about both the company as well as contact information for that founder, as well as personal information for that founder based off of their LinkedIn profile, right? Because I can map all of this to the table. I can map their title. Um, I can map a summary of their profile if I want to, uh, which is right in here. Um, and it, this will kind of show up depending on whether the person's profile is public or not. I can also map their country, whatever I want, all the information is here. And so uh, now I've got like a, essentially a fully basic enriched list and also I'll map these emails right here. I'm gonna pull out that information. I've got a fully enriched list of contacts I can reach out to and I've got information about both their company and their personal background that I can use. Now, again, in the case that you are looking for more than one person. I'm gonna go through that in the advanced section because there's a few more steps to follow, but I'd say this is a pretty awesome starting point and just kind of shows the power of how you can go from domain to fully outbound campaign.